symmetry in math is when you can turn a shape around and it will still look the same. If we turn around a page of sheet music, what will happen to the music that's on it? Here's a rectangle that we can turn around in four different ways with it still looking the same. So we can do this, we can flip it sideways, we can flip it this way, or we can rotate it. Now I can put a piece of music on a transparent piece of plastic so that when we flip it, we can still read it different ways up. Now on this piece of music, the time is going this way in the horizontal direction and pitch is going vertically. Here's how it sounds the normal way up. If I turn it this way, the pitch has stayed the same because I haven't changed the vertical direction. I've just changed the horizontal direction, which means that time has flipped backwards. And now it sounds like this. Now, how about I start again? And this time I'll just change the vertical direction and I won't change the horizontal direction. So time has stayed the same, but pitch has now flipped upside down. It now goes like this. So how about I change the vertical and the horizontal direction so that it changes the pitch and also the direction of time. Now it will go like this. those versions were somewhat less catchy than Beethoven's original theme. Bach often used symmetry on his music and he used it on melodies that sounded pretty good in different directions. For example, in this piece, the D minor invention, he starts with a theme that makes a kind of M shape. So it goes up, it spikes down and then it comes down again. And some of the transformations he does are just shifts, leaving the M still the same way up. For example, and then the right hand again. But then later on, he flips it upside down so that the M turns into a W. So it goes down, spikes up, and then rises up again. And then he flips it back and it turns into an M again. It's not just Bach who did this, Schumann also did it in this song from Frauenliebe und Leben. It starts like this. And then in the middle section, the singer sings a theme that starts by jumping down and then creeping up. And again, and then he flips it upside down, so the theme now jumps up and creeps down again. symmetry is a way to make more music out of a smaller amount of starting ideas. More modern composers did this more and more and they often did it quite explicitly using math in their compositions. It turns out that math is a way to build new ideas. <laughs>